And we thank you for joining us this afternoon for 7 Action News at 5. I'm Glenda Lewis. And I'm Brian Abel. Westbound I-94 near Woodward closed because of an investigation after a Warren police officer shot a suspect on the freeway. 7 Action News reporter Sarah Michaels on the scene now joining us live with an update. And Sarah, what can you tell us? Well, Glenda, Brian, the car that that suspect was driving has been stuck in the median behind me for hours. I-94 right here shut down. They just pulled the car out and you can see the police presence, the canines as well. Police tell me that the car got stuck here after recklessly fleeing from police and purposely hitting multiple people in their cars. This pursuit uh, started and he began ramming police cars uh, very quickly in the pursuit, probably within the first uh, 30 seconds of it. Uh, at that point, obviously, it, it ups it, the, the crime to felonies. Warren police tell us that the violent chase started at 2.40 this afternoon when officers attempted to pull over the silver Chevy Cruze for a traffic stop at westbound 8 Mile near Montrose, and the lone male driver of the car fled. A police chase then started, and police say the driver hit several fully marked police cars, and once on I-94, it intentionally hit multiple uninvolved motorist cars before striking the center median. Once stuck in the median, officers went to take the suspect into custody, and that's when officers fired a shot at the driver. The driver was hit in the arm and is now at an area hospital. A viewer, Anthony, sent us this video of police pulling the suspect out of his car at the end of the incident. Right when I was coming to the scene, they, um, I just saw the car crash into the median. It was pretty aggressive, yeah. It was definitely pretty aggressive. There was seemed to be a very big sense of urgency and trying to get the guy out of the car. And police tell me they don't know why this driver fled from them. The investigation is still ongoing. Live in Warren, Sarah Michaels, 7 Action News.